My name is Paige. Welcome back to another video. I am so glad you're here. This apartment tour is brought to you by none other than Finlandia Vodka, my favorite vodka. I'm very grateful that they are the sponsor of this little video. I'm going to be making my favorite summer cocktail with you guys, with them. It's really, really good. I already made it in Connecticut when I was home, but we're making it again. Amanda is here and she has not tried it yet, so I'm gonna make this cocktail for her. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it and it's very easy and very delicious and perfect for this summer. Just made this blueberry sauce for the cocktail. Let's get into it. In my opinion, when you're hosting, there's nothing more impressive than making a really yummy, delicious cocktail. I know a lot of us think of like, to get a delicious cocktail, you have to go to a nice restaurant, but so not true. It is cool and easy and fun to make it at home. Since I only have this one batch cocktail shaker here in this apartment, the measurements for this are gonna be for one cocktail, but just double this if you're making two. I'm gonna start with some ice. Okay, we've got our ice. Just gonna do one. This is one and a half ounces. Just gonna pour this in here. I'm just gonna do a quick squeeze of lemon juice. I'm going to do two of these. So what I've added so far is the Finlandia vodka, a squeeze of fresh lemon juice, some lemonade, and then I'm adding this blueberry simple syrup that I make. Today I used a splash of water, some honey, and then some blueberries. And then I just let it reduce and it turns into this really, really nice sauce. So I'm just gonna add that. It looks so pretty already. And I'm just gonna put the lid on and shake it. Okay, here is the finished cocktail. It is so tart and yummy. It has this really nice blueberry flavor. Amanda, you have to come try this. Okay, made the same exact thing. Just gonna shake it and serve it for her. Ooh, ooh. You look so cute. I don't. Cheers. Mmm, that's really good. We're cocktail grillies at the delicious. house. delicious. I love a good cocktail at home. Same. Wow, that's good. Right? It's actually really, really, really good. Okay, mixologist. I know. <laughs> Who would have thought? Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this apartment tour. We'll see you later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was gonna film like a Vogue style. Uh, is it Vogue style? Or whatever. Yeah, I guess Vogue style apartment tour. And then I, I just couldn't really take it seriously. Also, the light is setting in my apartment. So I'm gonna give you guys a little apartment tour. Um, I'm gonna still upload a vlog on Sunday. So, two videos this week. I just wanted to give a little brief update apartment tour. I did a lot of updates to my apartment this week. I like finally decided that I was gonna decorate a little bit and make it feel a little bit homier. I was in, honestly, no rush to decorate this apartment because I just wanted to take my time. For those of you that are new here and are wondering, where does this girl live? A really, really great question. My home base is in Connecticut. That is where my house is. Like a very cozy cottage. That's like my home base. And then everywhere else is sort of just like um, for work or to support my boyfriend who plays professional tennis. Some of you guys obviously already know this, but for those who are new here, my boyfriend plays professional tennis and is traveling for most of the year on the tennis tour. He has a few training blocks, which are at home in Florida. So we're in Florida sometimes. Um, so that has become a sort of home for me. So I spend time in Florida. I'm traveling a lot in Europe, in the UK for the tennis tour. And I own a business and we recently opened an office in LA, in California. That's the only reason I have a place here. Although it's been kind of cool to tap into 
this city part of my job. Obviously, I'm a business owner and an influencer, and I used to live in New York City. I moved to Connecticut in a cottage and like live a much slower lifestyle there, but I've been able to sort of like tap back into some sort of like the perks that you get from living in a city and being in my industry, whether it be events or hiring people or even the stylist that I'm now working with and like my agency and all of that. It is very nice and important to still spend time in a major city, whether it's New York or LA. So that's like the long story short. I spend time here when I have to be in the office. I found myself coming like once a month um, here. Some, sometimes I'm here for a while. Sometimes it's a short, quick trip, but I really, really love my apartment. I definitely never saw myself having a place like this especially since i moved to connecticut and i really decided that the best version of myself is in connecticut um and i just love it there so much but this new chapter of my life and opening an office here and really like growing and scaling out my business meant that i needed to have a place here and i never saw it coming but it's cool it's been a very cool new chapter it's definitely a lot you know having sort of like three home bases it's a lot but i'm in my 20s and i am just super willing to pour myself into my business and it's very rewarding and um i wouldn't say it's common for an influencer to have this many home bases at all but i'm also a business owner and that's the most important thing to me so i've recently gotten a bunch of pieces for this apartment and i just want to show you guys before i head out of town again I have a fitting tonight actually for F1 Miami. I'm getting really excited actually to go. I'm going to so many fun events and gonna be really fun, I think. And I'm working with a stylist, which I'm very excited about. I'm just really excited about like the fashion side of this. As you guys know, I've really like leaned into fashion with tennis, so it's very exciting to be invited to and be working with F1 and the brands that are at F1. But anyways, leaving tomorrow for F1, so there's going to be like a whole vlog on that, um, but leaving tomorrow to head out of town. So I want to show you guys some of the new pieces I got for my apartment. I am really liking how it's coming together. You guys know I'm not really like a modern girl. I like more like woods and earthy tones and natural tones. My ideal home would be like a very old home that's been completely renovated, sort of charm with modern finishes and, and obviously this building that i'm in is very modern i would say but i feel like i'm making it feel very me and i'm really happy with how it's coming together so let me show you guys what are you thinking about I out here know, honestly. you don't know <laughs> no. amanda this is actually a really pretty picture is it? yeah can i have your phone this is the balcony so this is the balcony it's actually really big i was thinking about maybe getting some patio furniture out here, but we'll see. And then the balcony goes like all the way down here. And it goes to the bedroom, which there's no door, which I think is a little bit weird, but it's okay. Um, that's the bedroom, I'll show you guys. Okay, so living room's over here. This couch is from Restoration Hardware and the consoles from Restoration Hardware. That's a frame TV. Someone asked me my story the other day. I just like put the white frame thing on it. This is a little dining bistro set. This is from an antique store in downtown LA. I'm kind of using it as a desk right now, so I really need to buy a desk. Oh, that's another thing. There's a lot, of, there's a lot in the apartment that I haven't got yet. Um, I need a few things. So I thought I would just show you guys like where I'm at now because I'm probably not gonna furnish it for like fully furnish it for like another few months. Okay, this is the kitchen. The kitchen's very cute. And uh, when I was looking at units in this building, there were a few one bedrooms and this had the cutest kitchen. I thought I really like this island. So yeah, this is the kitchen. We're making spicy rigatoni tonight. We just got these two, are they called buccal chairs? I think that's called boucle. I was thinking like buccal fat removal. And no, I didn't get buccal fat removal, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> These are the new chairs, I really like them. These are a Facebook Marketplace Slay. Um, but yeah, I really like these. They're really cutie. Oh, cool. This mirror is from West Elm. Very cute. I'm very into dark wood right now. This is the scary closet. It has a lot of like my skiing stuff, winter stuff, don't look up there, and then like <laughs> random shit. And then we come down here and there is 
the laundry, which is also a little bit scary boots, but you know, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, this is the half bath. I've never gone to the bathroom in here before. Have you? Oh uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is my closet. I really like this closet a lot. The way that they built this out keeps me very organized. So, you guys can come in. Sweaters, shoes, these are like jackets, fleeces, sweatshirts, hats, oversized tees, shorts, more fleeces, jeans, shorts, and then, we got these drawer organizers recently. Also, fun fact about me, I like only wear granny panties. <laughs> so that's something you didn't know about me. Or you did, because I always have underwear lines. Some accessories. Um, oh, I got this belt from Zara and it's so cute. Anyways, those are accessories. And this is, oh, my PJs. The best drawer that I have here. Workout clothes. And then, my bedroom this room is not done yet and this is the room that is probably the least done out of everything in the apartment this is a bed i have dairy boy sheets on my bed right now they're so cute the bed is from west elm west elm i think anthropology and i don't remember where i got this this is my vanity i actually need more storage than this so i'm thinking about getting something else but we'll see again like I'm not in a rush to replace it because I'm just not here all the time, but it's very nice to have a vanity to get ready. I'm so happy that I have a place here that's not a hotel. I was mainly staying in hotels and like, I'm just, I really love like the bed setup. So that's really all we have going on in here. I need to get a console table and I moved the mirror that was here out there. So I need to get another mirror and I either need like a console or a dresser. I'm thinking like a big dresser but the issue is, is if i ordered it this week i like not even going to be here for another minute so i want to get that and that is the bedroom <laughs> and then lastly the bathroom I have a huge tub it's really nice it's really big in here i put in these hooks for my robes and stuff this this is my bath stuff i recently installed this Got it at an antique place. I have so many products that I thought this was really, really cute. Love her. And then this is my shower. It's pretty big. I got this little tree stump thing. This was inspired by the One Hotels. I love that they have that. So this is the shower. Also, I still use this stuff. That apparently is canceled, but no one can make me hate her. I love her. Pinoxel. This is my favorite purple shampoo. L'Oreal's Metal Detox. Olaplex. Some Orbi. And Dove Bar of Soap. Liv is here. We're going to cook some dinner. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little apartment tour. I will keep you guys updated on like everything that I get and the changes that I make. Also would love recommendations. I need a desk, a dresser, a new mirror. So... Yeah, I will see you guys on Sunday in Miami.